Hey there, ham pie. It's vlog day 620. Pigeons are doing what pigeons do in the spring, making a lot of noise. And I am off to do a bike tour. I haven't done a bike tour in months, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. But I'm going in to help out because there are, they have a massive tour of like 100 people going today. So they're breaking it up into, I think like eight groups. I have no idea. And it's pretty wet outside. So uh, here's hoping we don't drown. <laughs> I need enough this morning. I had a banana from Kylie, thankfully, and some snacks from Anna. So I just got like my feeding team of guardian angels, it would seem. So hopefully that's enough to ride a bike for the next four hours. But supposedly, I don't know what I don't know what to expect from this. They've got like some sort of special camera they're supposed to be using while they're riding as well. So this won't be the only one filming. Woo! Look at all these bikes. Ow! You look very well prepared. You what's that? You want help? Sure. Yeah. Okay. The I would try to go in. We're um, already 15 minutes late. And everybody's coming individually instead of like in a bus or something, so sort of people actually show up. Wait, you're not wearing a sexy poncho. <laughs> it's all ladies and gentlemen. That yeah, was perfect timing. We might end up being all split up here in a second. We'll see how this goes. I don't think everybody's gonna show up. Basically, what Lauren was just explaining is that this is not an obligatory tour. It's like a press and influencer tour. So these guys are coming to test out a new phone that Huey or Huawei or however you say it just announced yesterday. So we're gonna be taking them out to test their new phone. Give it a try, get some photos, get some video in the rain. And so a lot of them probably aren't showing up, but we'll see. We're already like 20 or 30 minutes late on the start. So it'll be a very quick tour if we do get going. Gave a little bit of instruction on how to use their new cameras. We were only starting 15 minutes late, which is only, it's only a problem because we have to be back super fast and they also need to like have time at two locations to use the new cameras. It's gonna be a very wet sloppy day here in the We finally got started, obviously. My hands are frozen, they're barely functioning, which is gonna be really fun. And because I'm soaked, my phone keeps activating things in my pocket, which is dangerous. So if anybody received any text messages that made no sense, I might have pocket texted you. Also, my music was turned on. I don't know, I have no idea what all is going on. Something's not right. So, anywho, uh, we gotta be quick on the tour today. Wow, it's hard to snap even, Woo. It's good though, I'm having fun. It's, it's nice to be out on a bike, so no complaints here. Just a uh, late start, frozen. Otherwise, fantastic. Look forward to getting this tour done. I don't know if you've ever seen my Louvre video, how to do the Louvre, but if you want to learn how to avoid ridiculously long lines like that to get the Louvre, it's absurd. You should, none of those people should be in that line. I'll link to that video. If you want to know how to you know, skip these lines, it's really helpful. We're supposed to be finding a photographer around here somewhere to do some photos with these guys. I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him. We'll go, we, we've done a whole loop here. We'll see if we can't find this guy. Hopefully I'm not just blind. Have you seen him? Oh, you found him? I can barely hold on to my camera. I might not film anymore while riding because I have dropped my phone once or twice, thankfully while standing. But uh, I'm like stiff, falling apart over here. Good group though, it's fun. We're having a good time. So good time, just frozen times. Frozen times. Oh my gosh, so cute. So we're gonna take these guys to where they've got food waiting for them before they go to a pub. 
what it sounds like it's gonna happen next. I think I get in on the snack situation. Hoping so, and we'll carry on from there. I'm starting to shiver. I'm actually like soaked. <laughs> it stopped raining now that we're done riding our bikes, just like I kind of predicted actually for my group. Grabbed a quick sandwich. They had a hundred people were supposed to be there. They had a hundred sandwiches, hundred bikes. They actually had to get bikes from elsewhere. They, it was more bikes than they had on hand because they're in the middle of like swapping over to the, <laughs> the new bikes. And in the end, I think only like 30 or 40 people showed up. So there was lots of extra sandwiches around. Ooh, probably should have grabbed one of those. Anyways. I'm off to change, and then I think I'm gonna grab coffee with Kylie. I gotta finish reading through the Courier's off-grid run-through, and only got 59 hours as of right now left in the Kickstarter campaign, and then it's all over. So hopefully my video yesterday was more funny and not so obnoxious about uh, backing the Kickstarter, but if you wanna jump on the Kickstarter, the audiobook is almost unlocked. Almost time to jump on that, so if you would like to grab yourself a copy of the book, now's the time to do it. Ooh, so cold. That's really good, actually. You want to try it? Gary to drink black coffee. Do you? I'm so tired. Woo. I, uh, I told Kylie that I dreamed last night that I wasn't getting enough sleep, which is probably a good sign that I'm not getting enough sleep if I'm dreaming of sleeping. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna try and get some time in on the book. The Kickstarter is closing in. I will leave a link below. Don't worry, I won't go crazy, but a link below to the Kickstarter. If you're thinking about backing it, you by the time this goes live, you'll have just about 24 hours left, maybe a little bit more. So the other cool thing is that my landlady left me some flowers. She gets flowers every time she comes to town and uh, then they just get left behind and so she had the guardian, Jacqueline, hand those to me. Ooh, this was nice and warm. I don't know that I want to take this off yet. And so you can see them hanging out out here. They definitely look like they're in need of a little bit of water, maybe. They're very pretty. Definitely very pretty, but uh, kind of looking like they could use some attention. I'll give them some water, then I'll uh, get stuff done. I got to teach my course tonight, and then that might be it for the day. I'll check in with you here in a minute. We'll find out what goes on. All right, I've got, ooh, music playing. Don't want that playing. I... I'm gonna get something to eat because I don't have any food here and I have to teach my class in an hour. Should be good. It's light outside. It's crazy. It's so bright out. I can't wait. Like spring is really here. Okay. Anyways, I need to go get some food. And then my friend Allie is coming to, if you re remember Allie, work wife, she's coming to at least claim this desk. And she'll probably take the dresser later too. We'll see what she says when she gets here. But better than like storing this stuff and it never seeing the light of day again or just chucking it, hand it off to somebody who needs it, right? So. We're gonna go ahead and move this stuff out. I'm hoping this week to also get on top of my press kit and start moving towards the room de chateau bottle in the distance. But I gotta like, I just gotta get on top of stuff and I just haven't eaten anything and I'm really, it's like, it's amazing how tired I am from just doing one bike tour and not sleeping for a couple weeks. It's like, it's, it's crazy. I might let myself sleep in tomorrow just because I need to, but I'm also working my way through uh, Couriers Off Grid, enjoying reading it, getting kind of into the mindset. I do look forward to writing the next two books and I need to start carving time out for myself. That was the whole plan. I was trying to make time for myself to be writing right now, and I'm not writing quite as much as I want, but that's neither here nor there. What is here and there is foodstuffs in my belly. And I would like to get this dang light set up so we could do a live edit. Maybe we'll do a live edit tonight. We need to do a live edit here soon. I'll get the light set up for Super Chat. We'll get that figured out here soon. Anyways, lots to talk about, lots going on, and if I don't go get food now, I'm gonna not get any food before my class, and that's a bad idea, so let's go. I'm, I'm ready to lie down and die. Now the only thing that's left for the evening is actually Allie's gonna come and get the desk. I think we talked about that. So as soon as she gets here, I'm gonna eat something and maybe just like be dead for a minute. And then when she gets here, I'll undeadify long enough to get the desk out of here. It's a sewing desk. You can put a sewing machine in it. 
Whew. If you also, I think we're live at it tonight. If you haven't backed my Kickstarter, you got like two days left, less than that by the time this posts, make sure to jump on that link below. Go to the Kickstarter. I'd ask you to subscribe, but the Kickstarter is a more important call to action today. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet more glories of the life of Jay, frozen, tired, hungry, and alone in Paris. Good night. All right, it's time to dismantle this thing. It's gonna say work wife is here, but she is currently tying her shoes. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna pack this thing up. She's gonna basically be taking all of my furniture at this point, at this rate. So, how do you like the desk? Love it. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Hits the spot. Hits the spot. Perfect.